The brother asked the question that there are several ways of offering salah and I do know of that. Are all of them acceptable? Are all of them correct? Or there is only one common method? If you go to the market, you will find hundreds of books on describing the method of how to perform salah. Most of them, they contain few or more unauthentic hadith. Most of them. There is only one common method of offering salah. As the beloved Prophet said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the book of Adan, chapter number 18, hadith number 604, as well as in Sahih Bukhari, volume number nine, hadith 352, the Prophet said, pray as you have seen me praying. When you offer salah, you should offer salah as our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam offered salah and no other way. So when it comes to the major part of the salah, like where to keep your hands, how to stand in qiyam, in ruku, in sujood, the various postures, all these, there is only one style, only one method, which is mentioned and given in the Sahih Hadith if you refer to them. There are a few options which a person has. For example, what you recite in Ruku. The Hadith says that sometimes the Prophet recited Subhan Rabbi Azim, that glory be to Allah who is supreme. Sometimes he recited Subhan Rabbi Azim of Hamdika, that glory be to Allah who is supreme and praise be to him. So there are a few duas, various different duas which the Prophet recited in Ruku, in Sujood, where a person has an option. For example, I told in Bitar, you have to offer all rakat, that is the commandment. Sometimes Prophet offered one, sometimes five, sometimes seven, most of the time three rakat. So there are options in certain things. Mainly in recitation, in ruku, in sujood, etc. But the major part, the posture, how you stand, how do you sit, how do you bow, how do you prostrate, everything is only one common method, which is given in the Sai Hadith. The best book that I can recommend, which is available, and which is very concise, small book, and which contains authentic hadith, is the book The Guide to Salah by M. A. Saqib. If people have more time and they want to read a bigger book, a book which gives more minute details, how do you go for sujood? What part of the body you touch first? How do you get up all the minute details? You can refer to the book The Prayer of the Prophet. From the beginning to the end, as if you see it, by Sheikh Muhammad Nasiruddin Al Albani, Sheikh Albani. It gives the quotation of Sai Hadith, etc. You can refer to this book. But as the question is, that after the few recitation, the major part of Salah is only one type. And if you want to read these books, you can refer to the library of the Islamic Research Foundation where these books are available. The question posed was that why is the method for performing Salah? of man and woman different. As I mentioned, there are several books available in the market describing the method of offering Salah. And most of them have separate chapters of how a woman should perform Salah and how a man should offer Salah and the postures are different. In fact, there is not a single authentic Hadith which says that the woman should offer Salah different than the men. There is not a single authentic hadith. In fact, if you read Sahih Bukhari, poem number one, in the book of characteristics of Salah, chapter number 63, Umma Abdarda, may Allah be pleased with her, she sat in tashahud, like the men, and she was a woman well versed in religious affairs. There are several hadith narrated by Hazrat Aisha, by the other wives of the Prophet and other lady companions, may Allah be pleased with them all, mentioned Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim and various Sahih Hadith, but none of them say that there is a particular different method and different postures for a man and woman to offer Salah. The answer is very clearly given, as I mentioned earlier, in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the book of Adan, chapter number 18, hadith number 604, and Sahih Bukhari, volume number nine, Hadith number 352, the Prophet said, Pray as you have seen me praying. So the men and women should offer salah in the same postures and same way.